I'm Haley. Each episode, I'm going to be inspiring and teaching you how to be the best, most empowered woman you can be. Today's episode, five tips on how to win your fantasy football league. Number one, first thing you're going to need is this 2014 fantasy draft guide. It's like the best draft book in the whole world. With this book, you literally don't have to know anything about football. Basically how it works, you have different tabs. You have draft prep, so that's going to help you prep for the draft, which is good. You also have rankings, uh, quarterbacks, running backs, wide receivers, tight ends, kickers, defense, and analysis, and your schedule. Another reason this book is so great is that under the draft prep section, they have sleepers in each part. So you know, 11th round, 12th round, you can draft. Put in some sleepers. You're like, okay, I need, oh, defense, kickers, the tight end. I mean, it's telling you everyone to draft, which leads me into round two. Number two, once you have drafted an amazing team, which obviously you will, cause you use this great draft book, you need to keep up your team every week. Go to fantasysharks.com. Fantasy Sharks is gonna show you all the quarterbacks and the running backs and the tight ends and like basically all the positions. Once you can see who's doing well every week, then you can either draft new players or you can keep the players you currently have or move people from the bench to play. If you just leave your team the same all season, they don't end up really doing all that good. So you really need to like move your team around a lot. They have nice statistics every week so you can move people from your bench to um, your lineup. And then also I usually try to pick up a new draft every week so you can pick someone new up, um, you know, off the waiver wire or making a trade with somebody. So it's good to spend about an hour every week working on your team. Number three, I'm all about making shicey trades. There's two shicey trades. The first one is the bye week trade. So when you have a bye week, you make an ally and you're like, hey, um, on your bye week, give me some of your good players. I'll give you my crappy players that I'm trying to bench anyway. I'll play with your good players and I'll win. And then on their bye week, you just switch. The other shiesty trade is taking advantage of your friends that know nothing about fantasy football. Now, should they be playing? Eh, it's questionable. You can make a little shiesty trade by trading off your good player to them for, you know, two of their mediocre players. And if you know those players are gonna come out on top, then ultimately you're winning. Go ahead, take advantage of your friends. It's just fantasy football. Number four, you are not playing fantasy football without your trusty ESPN football app. Now, you might be in a league where it's Yahoo or another site, that's fine. Just make sure you download the app. This app is gonna show you who you're playing. It's gonna line up like, Haley Bright and Quinn Up TV Ballers. And you can just follow on this app all weekend, you know, as your teams are playing, how your team's doing. You're not stuck on your computer. You're on the go, you're mobile. Everything is cool and your team is great. Number five, watch some football. A couple ways to do this. A, you can watch a little bit on your phone. B, something I like to do is listen to it in the car, like old people style. You know, like the AM station that plays the game. Or I use an app. And obviously along with that, get your league together, watch some games. It's a great time to socialize and sometimes it's a great time to hang out with hot guys. The bottom line, I wouldn't normally tell you guys this, but you're not in my league. And if, you have, if you're in my league, don't watch this. I will kill you for stealing all my secrets. Okay. Enough said. Mm -hmm.